going on there guys good evening it is the earth master here with a update video on a massive amount of earthquake activity uh, occurring off the coast of oregon just west of the cascadia subduction zone a 5.7 earthquake just coming in to the seismograph stations as we speak look at it showing up on the british columbia station as well as southern california station here uh, down on the bottom called petrolia is in the northern california area we we are getting some major uh, uptick in earthquake activity off the coast of oregon right now folks let's go ahead and check it out on the usgs map here look at that 5.7 kicking up uh, off the coast of oregon i and a 5.8 it looks like just a short time ago um i am issuing an earthquake watch out here folks in this region uh, as we're seeing a swarm of movement kick up here uh, throughout the day today looks like uh, let's go ahead and zoom in we got about 11 earthquakes or so just today uh, we've seen this activity ramp up early this morning with quite a few fours these magnitudes are getting bigger folks this is an impending sign of some major buildup out here in this area of the uh, pacific and the plate out here we got the cascadia subduction zone that sits off here to the east right by about looks like 150 miles or so this activity is striking in the, the blanco fracture zone now it's a pretty uh pretty common area to see a lot of earthquake activity out here but this is a swarm this is not just one or two earthquakes this activity here is uh, definitely ramping up to something much bigger we had a 5.8 so far the largest earthquake um, i would be on guard west coast uh, from the southern end of the cascadia all the way up to the northern end uh, issuing that earthquake watch right now for the Cascadia subduction zone. Uh, let's go ahead and I want to show you guys real quick. Let me see if I can key up some info on activity here. Uh, the USGS does supply a little um, earthquake catalog, if you will, of earthquake activity. Let's go ahead and go 5.5 and above. And we're going to go back here since about 1900 or so um, for this area. <clears throat> Got to draw. A rectangle here on the map and we'll check out the earthquake activity that has occurred out here um, throughout time but it's definitely uh i think this is brewing to something much bigger folks so hold hold with me here for just a minute we'll key this up here so yeah here's the activity throughout um <clears throat> excuse me throughout uh, at least history as far as 5.5 earthquake activity and above goes now obviously there's been quite a bit right and a lot of it has been within this area of the blanco fracture zone uh spreading down towards the cascadia subduction zone of course some of these earthquakes can get rather large out here in this area of the uh of the blanco fracture zone we have seen 6.3 or so in this region and uh looks like that's about at least the largest recorded one 6.2 and uh, a couple other sixes there. Oh, take that off. Take that back. We've seen 6.8 or so as far as the largest earthquake movement, at least here, recorded wise, um, striking this region since about 1900 or so. But uh, it's always, it's, I don't know, I have a feeling something much bigger is brewing. You got to look at the, uh, the possibility here. Did, did we have this type of swarming when we had these other earthquakes take place? Let's see, 1951, looks like we had a couple back in 1951. <clears throat> All other ones, at least 5.5 and above, showing uh, no significant swarming prior. Maybe uh, right here, 6.3, and then a couple other ones around the same date, a couple fives. So it looks like it's possible um, some of these earthquakes have struck on the same date in the past. Uh, so it's not uncommon, but <clears throat> whenever we see this earthquake activity in this type of scale, uh, and close to a area, subduction zone, Cascadia subduction zone. It's been 320 years since the last full rupture. Of course, intervals range from, uh, they're variable. It, some people say 300 to 500 years. Some people say 250 to 500 years. It's, it's a, a variable estimate there, but it's been 320 years of buildup here along the Cascadia, and it's something to watch pretty closely. So... Um, I'm definitely issuing a, a earthquake watch out here, uh, Northern California, northward off the coast of Vancouver Island, uh, up here where it ends at the Cascadia subduction zone here in the north. Let's go ahead and check out the Canadian uh, map here real quick, see if I can get these guys popped up, see if they're reporting any type of uh, info out here as well. 
Um, <clears throat> these guys are not covering the earthquake activity down south, at the, or off in the ocean, I should say, in the Pacific. Their activity shows mostly older earthquake activity here in the northern end of the Cascadia uh, over the last month or so, it looks like. So no new earthquake issued uh, by those folks up there in the northern end. Uh, just right here, just right, uh, just right here on the USGS site. I want to check out when that 5.8 kicked up. <clears throat> that was about, uh, looks like, 0036 or so. So wow. So it's actually been an hour and a half or so ago since the 5.8, the 5.7 just came in uh, now, and of course that is showing up pretty significantly on the seismograph stations once again here on the map. You can see uh, British Columbia. Uh, stationed down in Southern California, San Diego area picked it up as well. Uh, and also <clears throat> the most closest one or, or in between the BC and Northern California, we've got a uh, Petrolia station there. This station sits uh, just south of the Eureka region. That picked it up pretty nicely as well. Um, I'm thinking that could be possibly larger than the 5.7. So we will uh, keep an eye on that, see if they upgrade it or not. But uh, for now, folks, there's definitely a lot of movement taking place here off the coast of Oregon, be very prepared. If you look at the activity on the map here, you can see significant movement along the Pacific Plate as a whole. And that includes some deep earthquake activity in the South America region along the Peru Chile Trench. Uh, some deep earthquake activity in the New Zealand area where they had a uh, 4.7 earthquake right around the Hikurangi subduction zone. That's another major player in possibly producing a sizable earthquake in that region. Um, and also some deeper movement up north here too. So uh, I'm going to get this update video out, folks, uh, and possibly cover it a little bit more in detail here in an hour or so. But I wanted to get this notification out to the viewers. Uh, be on guard out here along the west coast, Oregon and Washington, uh, for potential movement here along the Cascadia subduction zone. I don't believe the trimmer map has been updated yet in that region. 12.7, uh, even though it's shown zero, uh, it's possible here that they have not updated uh, any of the trimmer activity. It normally comes in all at once at about 6 p.m. my time, and we still got about 20 minutes or so before that uh, activity uh, gets updated. Anyway, for now, a uh, major earthquake swarm occurring off the coast of Oregon uh, with some significant earthquake movement in the uh, upper five range kicking up. So stay safe, guys. We will chat you guys in a little bit.